What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new information talking about the AEW figures that are going to be coming to us very, very soon. I mean, literally, in an amount of hours, we could be seeing these figures across the country at your local Walmarts, all around the country. You know, uh, there's a bunch of info that we're going to talk about here today about the All Elite Wrestling Action figures from the Unrivaled series coming to us from Wicked Cool Toys and Jazz Wares and everybody over there that we've been waiting for, man. We've been waiting on these figures a long, long time. And you guys know all of the info that we've already had. I know, I know it's been a ton of information, especially over the last few weeks, regarding these figures and more WWE Elite figures and all the reveals that we got. And today, guys, we're going to be going through some information that you need to know regarding the AEW action figures that we are excited about. So let's go ahead and start off, guys. So first off, I want to show you guys this because I think it's very important, okay? So this morning, you guys know today is August 2nd at the time of recording this. If you're watching this right when it goes up or the day this goes up, it is Sunday, August the 2nd, 2020. So at the time of recording this, I just got back from Walmart an hour ago. Literally, the time of this picture that I'm showing you guys was one hour ago at my local Walmart. You guys can see here, it says AEW Six Figures Assortment. Retail price $19.87, a uh, little barcode there, all the good stuff. You guys can see I'm in the WWE Wrestling Figure section. I don't know if you guys can see the little figure behind there. There's a few basics back there, but I went to check my Walmarts because you guys know as well as I do, we got on there and talked about it, that August 3rd, 2020 is supposed to be the retail set date for the AEW figures. The AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1 featuring Chris Jericho, Young Bucks, Matt, and Nick Jackson, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, and Brandy Rhodes are supposed to be hitting Walmart. Walmart on August 3rd. That was the big thing. They had the commercial that they showed on AEW Dynamite on TNT and they were talking about these figures hitting retail on August 3rd. Apparently there's supposed to be a nice little display there. They may even have the little, you know, they may have the little cart in the middle featuring the, you know, different products featuring all of Unrivaled Collection Series 1 and then I'm sure that we'll see like the AEW toy belt, probably the basic ring because the other ring is ringside exclusive. But today I went to my Walmart because I kept seeing people post this picture of the AEW six-figure assortment little tag on the shelves, and I was like, well, bro, I want to find out if my Walmart is going to have this, because this is an indicator that they're going to be put out on display. Now, when is the big question, okay? So it says that it's going to be August 3rd. That was in the commercial that has been talked about, that has been revealed. Everywhere I look, you know, they're saying August 3rd, but I also read some things from, I think it was Walmart, like some people have talked to local people at Walmart, at their Walmarts, and they said that they're not supposed to be delivered until the 5th. Now, that that is potentially true. You know, I'm sure that every Walmart is different. You're not going to have every single Walmart across the country hitting at the exact same time. So I'm sure I'm sure some are going to hit, you know, tonight, possibly. They may put them out on display tonight before they close. I'm sure some will go out first thing in the morning on the 3rd. I'm sure some will be out on the 4th, the 5th, the 6th. I even heard the 7th from a couple of people. But um, I think the initial release date was supposed to be August 1st, but they got pushed back a little bit due to uh, obvious issues around the world. But um, this is not the only thing. You know, I, I've read some things online here and I wanted to share all the information with you guys. Now, not only Walmart getting these figures, but Ringside Collectibles is also getting these figures. I know a lot of people that first pre-ordered these figures when they first went up on Ringside Collectibles. They have already shipped. Some people have already received them. I know that, uh, you know, I think Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins have already received theirs. I think some other people, Ringside's been sharing photos of people getting theirs in hand and, and unboxing all of them together. So I think people that pre-ordered them from the first wave, you know, as soon as the pre-order went up. I think some of those pre-orders have shipped out, or I think a, a big batch of the first pre-orders have gone out. So, if you guys pre-order from Ringside, they should be going out any day now. You should be receiving emails about that. And I think uh, they are going to get another shipment in very soon of AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 1. But in this video, we're not really going to be talking about Ringside Collectibles a lot because uh, their pre-orders are coming in. If you guys missed out on the first wave of pre-orders, you can still go pre-order it using promo code MDTOYS. I think even Series 2 is up for pre-order. But I wanted to get into some stuff regarding, you know, the big day. Tomorrow's the big day. The AEW figures are supposed to be hitting shelves tomorrow at Walmart. And if you're if you're Walmart, I know a lot of Walmarts have already gotten the AEW toy belt. They've gotten the AEW basic ring. I've seen that all over Instagram. I've seen that on Facebook. People all over the country have been sharing images of them finding the basic ring with, uh, you know, it doesn't come with any figures, but it's basically like a Mattel WWE ring 
It's just your regular plastic ring, spring-loaded usually. It's got your four corners, your black ropes, you know, really standard AEW ring, and then they have the AEW toy belt. And tomorrow is supposed to be the big day that we get the Unrivaled Collection. Now, is that going to take place? We're going to have to see. We got some information here to show you guys off real quick. You guys can see here, this is from Jeremy Padawa, who is one of the head guys over there at Jazz Wares working on these figures here. And he said, here's why initial waves of AEW might be short at retail. If you overship a first or second wave, retail can lose faith and shut you out. First impressions can be permanent. If you undership and assess the scale of the market, you get to keep playing. Once you have sales data, you're golden. So what he is saying here is, yeah, he's basically saying, you know, that there might be a shortage. You know, not every single Walmart is going to get a ton of Unrivaled Collection Series 1. Um, I'm guessing that each Walmart, and obviously, I don't think every single Walmart is going to carry these figures. It's possible that every Walmart does, but if every single Walmart is carrying these figures, I expect there to be like one set per Walmart because that would be a ton of of figures. Now, I don't think that every single Walmart across the country is going to get these figures because that wouldn't make any sense. That's way too many figures. And secondly, that would be a waste of money on their part. I'm sure they have data collected from each state on each Walmart that tells them, you know, how well their wrestling figure sales are, their demographics, how well they move product. And uh, at my local Walmart, I know that mine never have anything. And as soon as they get anything, it's gone. So I'm guessing that, uh, I, and, and beings that we got the AEW little sticker thing. I'm, I'm hoping to God that my Walmart actually gets it, whether it be it. I have two different Walmarts that I'm going to hit tomorrow uh, waiting on the AEW figures, so hopefully one of those does carry it, but in your areas, guys, there may, again, that you may not be able to find them. Uh, I probably suggest getting there early because, I mean, I don't know what the short, you know, I don't know how many there's going to be. You could get blessed with two waves. You may be blessed with two sets of Series 1. You may get, you know, just one set. You may, you know, and who knows how this Chase variant thing is going to work. You know, there is a one in 500 figure and then there's a 1 in 1000 figure. I think the Chris Jericho is the 1 in 1000 and then the Cody Rhodes is the 1 in 500. It's like one's a rare variant and then one's a super rare variant or something like that. And um, I heard that these are supposed to be stuck in random packs. Like stores don't even know what they're getting and I think I don't even think Ringside knows what boxes these Chase variants are in and I'm not sure if they're going to sell those individually on their website or if they're going to be uh, just randomly sent out to people that pre-ordered a full wave I'm not exactly sure. I don't know how that's going to work. So I guess we're just all going to find that out together. I think that uh, it's very imperative that the that the Chase variants and stuff do go out to Walmart because that's what the thrill of the hunt is all about. Especially when you're talking about 500 Cody Rhodes and 1,000 Chris Jerichos. That is not a lot whatsoever. So that can kind of get out of hand very fast. But that is the thrill of the hunt, you know, when you're going out trying to find the 1 in 500 Cody. I'm obviously going to be trying to find it. And uh, who knows if one of my Walmarts get it. I don't know how many Walmarts. I'm going to go to. I don't know if I'm going to go to two or three, but I am going to toy hunt it for you guys just in case we do get some stuff. But I'm really clinging to hope that my Walmart does get them since they have that little uh, image out there. But somebody uh, replied to this tweet from Jeremy and said, so you're saying they're going to be impossible to find. And then Jeremy replied and said, I'm saying if you overship wave one, there is no wave three. But if you find the sweet spot, you can manage a brand for 30, 40, 50, 100 waves. So what he's saying here is that if you overship series one and they rot on shelves, Walmart is not going to come back and say, you know what, Brad, let's order more AEW figures. But if you undership or not undership, but if you don't send as many, if you only send one or two sets out to each Walmart, then there is a big possibility possibility that those sell, sell, sell out and then Walmart will keep you know keep coming back for more and more figures that way you get you know uh, more stuff going out to retail so even initially if you know our Walmarts get sold out of the AEW figures really really fast hopefully that will mean that in the future we will get more and more as these figure waves continue to come out and this is also I know it's kind of difficult because you know usually ringside collectibles their prices are marked up a little bit because they usually get the figures first but in this case due to the pandemic around the world I think Think that they are getting the figures pretty much near the same time as Walmart, so that is why they ran into it a little delay there where you know it was out of their control, they couldn't really get the figures in the same time as Walmart, so that is why Ringside did not get these in sooner. Rather, they're getting them around the same time, is because uh, you know, with all everything going on, they ran into some delays and shipments and stuff like that. Another reply to the tweet here, guys, says, Trust me, as soon as these hit shelves, they will be gone within an hour. Jeremy replied to that and said, We just need to get the right read because we produce a reasonable amount of wave one. The demand is high, no doubt. I want this to be around for 10 years. And I agree with that. You know, I understand exactly what he's trying to say here. 
And uh, it makes sense, you know, even if that first wave does go really, really fast and you aren't able to find them, this will just mean that later on we should be able to find them really easily. Now, the best way I can say to, uh, you know, eliminate that fully is to pre-order the, the full waves from Ringside Collectibles. If you want these figures really, really badly, guys, as soon as they go up for pre-order, like Series 2 is up for pre-order right now at Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS. I think a full set's like 150 You can save 15 16 bucks right there using promo code MDTOYS. And then I think you also get free shipping because you're ordering over $50, so you can save some money there. And I think that breaks down to around $22 or so per figure. Let me do the math real quick. So that would probably add up to around 20 to 25 per figure. And then if you add that into the cost of gas and you add that into the cost of going around to these stores and your time and the convenience, plus these figures retail for $20 at Walmart plus the tax. I mean, you're going to be, it's going to be right there. And if you really, really, really want these figures that badly, pre-order the full sets. That way you do not miss out on them. I know sometimes like it can definitely be a headache trying to get a hold of stuff when they first release like this, especially trying to order full waves and stuff. But I also have another tweet here from Vintage Jacks BCA and you guys can see here. It says, for anyone looking for the upcoming AEW Unrivaled figures at Walmart, here's the info you'll need to find them. Come August 3rd, they're expected to retail for $19.87 each. SKU number is 7373695777 and then the UPC code is 191-726-376-880. Now, uh, I think you can go to BrickSeek.com or PopFinder.com and punch these numbers in and find out if your Walmart has these figures in hand. It should give you a stock number and all that stuff. So I don't know if you want to do that today sometime, maybe later today, uh, tonight sometime, or, or even tomorrow morning. I'm not exactly sure, but you can go to BrickSeek.com and PopFinder. I also have another tweet here from Wrestling Figure News Source that says, Locating figures to track down figures via inventory websites. You need the parent SKU slash DPCI number. Figures are categorized by type as individually would be extra inventory to track. If you're trying to track elites, basics, AEW, etc., you need to use the series number, not wrestler number. While each wrestler has a SKU, the only way to truly locate them is by series. So if you're trying to locate these figures, guys, the best thing to do is to go to BrickSeek or uh, PopFinder. Just Google that, like PopFinder.com or BrickSeek.com. Com, one of the two and you can type in the SKU number or the you know the UPC code or the DPCI code or whatever the hell that's called and you can look up those numbers and it should be able to tell you the stock but I'm feeling that I think you know I, I'm thinking that some Wal Walmarts are probably going to get these later tonight I'm, I'm sure some Walmarts are going to get them tomorrow morning I'm sure tomorrow you know afternoon again I'll probably be showing up early to my Walmart in the morning and I will be uh, I will definitely be toy hunting it just in case I'm going to check both of my Walmarts I may even go to my other Walmart across town later on on today just to check you know you never know I mean with retail and stuff trickling down through the through the grapevine and you know the people at Walmart don't care about the wrestling figures man they're just you know their manager comes by they say hey go put these on the shelf or you know I, I have to stock this stuff and they just go stock it I mean that's what it is unless they are involved in wrestling figure collecting they have no idea what they're doing they're just it's just products on a shelf to them so they'll just stock that stuff up. So uh, some people will probably put them out early. Some people will accidentally put them out early or vice versa. But anyways, guys, these are supposed to hit retail on August 3rd. Will they or will they not? We'll just have to find out together. I'm sure it will vary Walmart to Walmart around the country. But I am definitely on the lookout for these things. I cannot wait to find them at retail and show them off to you guys in a toy hunt video or whatever the case is. We'll just have to see about everything going on. But if you guys find these at your Walmart, did your Walmart have the AEW six-figure assortment up on the shelf? Let me know down in the comment section below below. I'd really appreciate it. But I wish you guys luck on all of your toy hunts. You know, if you guys are going to be out there in the wild trying to find these on tomorrow, definitely be careful. It's going to be crazy out there because I know a lot of collectors are going to be on the outlook for these um, all over because uh, even in my area, like my Walmart man, this morning, just this morning, they had to, like, I, they, I check it like every week. I check it once or twice a week. I go to the Walmart locally to check the figures. And uh, the other day I checked and uh, they didn't have anything whatsoever. They had like a couple basics and a couple battle packs like the Evolution Trish and Lita Battle Pack and uh, some new basics. Uh, not like new new but like kind of new like the you know like basic 108 maybe or maybe even before that I don't even know but I went and checked right and there were no elites whatsoever I think there was one elite 76 Braun Strowman okay so today this morning when I go check there is two top talents Roman Reigns like the brand new top talents you know 2020 uh, X-Men, Rollins, Ricochet, that wave right there. 
Two Romans, one Braun Strowman, no Ricochets, no Seth Rollins, and uh, they had brand new basics with the top picks, you know, Kofi Kingston, and they also had some other new figures, and also my, my toy aisles were rearranged. They were in different areas, and they had the AEW sticker there. There were some women uh, working right there, and they were rearranging some other stuff later on. I, did, I saw pallets, but I didn't see any, you know, AEW boxes or anything, so I don't know. We'll just have to play it by ear, man, but good luck to everyone out there that's going to be hunting for these things. I will be hunting right alongside you because I am just as thrilled for these things, man. I, I have never been this excited for a wave like this in a long time, so I'm very, very excited to find these things, get the reviews up to you guys, find them at retail. It's just a great time, man. I remember when we first saw them, and now we are finally getting them at retail, so hopefully everybody can find them with no trouble. The nature of collecting wrestling figures, you know, that's probably not going to happen. It's probably not realistic, but I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys have any information on this, if I missed out on any information that you think is important, please let me know down in the comment section below subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you